Thank you, Rose, for joining me. Double lift. Wow. It's How's it going? Uh, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy to have you here. I have a super interesting segment in the game where you and Busio decided to send it bot lane, trade one for one, your support for the enemy AD carry, which in my opinion is a great line of play. So we're going to see soon enough that we're going to ping Lulu. I wanted to ask you, is this something that you're talking about when they recall? Is this something that you're reacting to when you see Lulu? You can't bring your yeah. jungler down, so what gives you the confidence to make this play? I would say like... From this point, we, we could actually just insta push the wave and still make it in time for Harold, since Harold actually does take quite a lot of time. So like right here, even though I use my E, I think we could, but I've seen too many times, like from my perspective, this is obviously up to everyone's like experience in the game. Mm -hmm. It is way worse if the enemy AD carry is diveable. Like you should just dive him, kill him, 450 gold, right? I mean, obviously, I think Alan misplayed here and took one too many turret shots. Sure. But, uh, and then you also get two plates. So the overall gold that you're getting and denying, like, look, he loses not only these 10 creeps, but he loses the entire next cannon wave. Like, I mean, it's a 1,000 gold swing. And can the enemy team realistically use Herald? I mean, 90% of the time that you're playing these kind of matchups, Zeri, Sivir, you're using Herald to accelerate bot lane. Like, what do you do when Sivir is so behind? So I feel like Immortals, Made a bad decision, we made a good decision. Maybe he thought he couldn't get dove because it's like Yumi. I think so, yeah. But, uh, you know, the support can almost always die, like suicide for the yes. for the one for one. Uh, and that's something that I think we're really good at doing is like, it didn't really show in our C9 game, but I think we're actually really good at making like one for one trades and uh, I agree with you. off of it. Yeah. Uh, it's actually something that uh, me uh, back in Fnatic with Hillisang is something we did. So we would dive bot lane when I was jungling and yeah, uh, worth. we'd call it the kill the king. So uh, it doesn't matter how many pawns you lose, well, ideally one for one. But uh, on a big wave like this, you kill the king, the enemy AD carry, loses the whole wave. Game's going to be great, especially in a matchup like this. And uh, didn't have anything too interesting. However, with a gold lead, uh, it does look like Zeri takes over team fights. I wanted to ask you when you're piloting the Zeri champion first time um, back in competitive with Zeri in a meta, it's been a while. I want to ask, how do you react when you know the fight is looking winning? Because obviously Zeri, once she got Ghost on, once she has her ult active, it's pretty easy to take over a game. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I think they're pretty, they are trolling pretty hard using stuff on anyone except for me. I don't really understand like why you would do that uh, against Zeri. I, what am I saying in the game though? I'm usually saying like front to back because my teammates like to just go in and suicide for no reason. <laughs> Um, that's just for some reason the way that we play and uh, I'm playing an actually useful champ this game so I can I can carry if they're not focusing me but um, I think in normal circumstances like you should as AD carry like you should know where you where you want your teammates to be around you obviously and here I think everyone was positioned very well everyone was ready aware like oh if they go on anyone except for me we can just chase them down so I mean it's just Zeri thinks I don't think it needs much explaining like if you don't kill her the first two seconds of the fight she's probably gonna carry I agree with you. How does it feel coming back in competitive, playing such a powerful champion, right? I, I do feel like uh, the meta is not as Zeri dominant as it was last year, but uh, for a hard carry player as yourself, it must be really nice. Yeah, I mean, how does it feel to come back? Uh, in the beginning, I had a hard time like with my confidence, I would say. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'm good. Two years, long time, take a break. You, you know, like any pro player that takes a break, it can be kind of nerve wracking to come back. But uh, surprisingly, like, I don't know, I scrimmed against all of the AD carries in the LCS. None of them are particularly interesting to me. Like, I was I was expecting, like, bigger challenges, I guess. Okay. Uh, but so far, I feel like uh, I'm just, like, slotted right back in, and I'm still one of the best, and I have a lot of room to improve. Uh, awesome. Special shout-out to Yon on TL. I think oh. he's actually quite good. Um, we we got to see that today, right? Like, uh, yeah. his Lucian was keeping the game alive. Yeah, yeah, I think that guy is actually quite good and really promising. Other than that, though, everyone is a little bit disappointing. I was really expecting to get like completely smashed, but uh, I don't know. I guess I still have some skills Prince? left. Yeah, I. Oh. I mean, I don't want to like. They are good players, absolutely, but I was definitely mm -hmm. expecting a little bit more from them. Wonderful stuff. It's, uh, I hear 839 days since your uh, last performance. Well, yesterday, I guess it was. Yeah. Oh, last win, actually. Sorry. Specify 839. That's days crazy, man. Win. That's crazy. Yeah. That's actually really impressive. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to see you back on stage. Thank, Thank you. you very much for joining me.